we're going to show how to set up a quick cutting file on a plasma cutter using SheCam. In Rhino, once you have your file ready, I'm going to use this uh, bare design. I have it scaled to about six inches. I'm going to select this and I'm going to export this file. Export selected. And I'm going to save it as a DXF file. So make sure you have it saved as a DXF. I'm going to name this Plasma Bear and make sure you save this to where you want to save it. In this case, I'm just going to save it to my downloads folder real quick. I'm going to hit OK and that will save the DXF file. At this point, I'm going to open up a software program called SheetCam. And you should have already set this up with all of the tools and the license. We got that done in the previous assignment. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and import my drawing. Import drawing. I'm going to go find my file that I saved. And I'm going to import that drawing. I'm going to bring it in as inches, put it in the lower left corner, and I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see I've got my bare file here. So now I need to set this up so that it can be cut on the plasma cutter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an operation. I'm going to select plasma cut. And this is going to pop up here. So I have to tell it, do I want to cut on the outside of the line or the inside? I'm going to select outside. I'm going to select the layer that this is on. I'm going to select uh, the tool that I want. So we're going to use a fine cut low speed for 16 gauge steel unless you're doing something special that you've talked about in the video. That's going to set up everything the way we want it to be. Uh, we're going to make sure that we've selected a arc for the lead in with a length of 0.15 and then we're going to hit OK. From there we're going to come and come to the file menu and select run post processor. At this point in time we're going to save this file as an NGC file and uh, you're going to want to save this on your USB drive to take to the plasma cutter. Hit save and once you've got that saved you are ready to take your file to cut at the plasma.